Chancellor, Deputy Vice-Chancellor, distinguished guests, academic staff, family and friends, and fellow graduates. Aren't we lucky to be coming together today to celebrate another cohort of graduates at USQ? We made it through. And perhaps the feeling of victory is even stronger given the challenges of the past 18 months or so. As someone once said, no guts, no glory. Well, I actually have a confession to make. I believe it's possible I may be addicted to study. Um, this is my fourth graduation. I entirely bl blame my family, full of teachers and librarians, for building such curiosity in me from an early age. Not everyone is so lucky and had the same opportunities. I'm grateful because for me, USQ has equipped me to find my career niche. The courses I've completed have enabled me to pursue my life's purpose and play a role in developing a low carbon economy. USQ is one of the rare institutions which understood the intersection of business and sustainability, becoming an early mover to invest in courses that recognised the challenge that is now confronting every sector of the economy. So I suspect I'm not the only grateful graduate here today, and I wouldn't be surprised if each and every one of you gained considerably more from your studies than simply your testimonial. Whatever your hopes and dreams, whatever faculty or program or course you chose, and whatever your circumstances, I hope you really do enjoy the celebrations today and feel proud as punch and terribly grateful. Apart from the warm glow you feel about your journey to this point, you can also be confident that your education is something that can never be taken away from you. It's an investment you'll never regret. So on behalf of all the graduates here today, I must send a huge vote of thanks to the entire USQ team. We acknowledge your tremendous commitment, patience, generosity and skill. The insights you have shared will better prepare us all for the challenges and uncertainties ahead. I recall that there have been times during my own study when lecturers have guided me out of conceptual cul-de-sacs I found myself in. Some brought me down to earth when I got stuck up in a tree trying to get a better view of the vastness of the published literature at our disposal. I can't possibly finish this speech without a heartfelt thank you to our nearest and dearest, our support network, those who have stood by us through the blood, sweat and tears of it all. Over time, the investment we made together will pay off. And in any case, sharing the journey has no doubt brought us closer together. So today, let's all feel grateful and jubilant. Well done, and I wish you all the very best for the next part of your journey, wherever that may lead. Thank you.